Hey guys, it's Peter and only behind the camera together we are two hungry diners. Well guys, welcome to our brand new series. This series is called Eden Gem. Yes, we have so many series in our YouTube channel, so make sure you check them out. And yes, in this Hidden Gem series, we are going to try to find small and local business where the food is amazing, but not many people know about it. And the business itself doesn't really do like that much um, advertising on social media. Um, the follower is still very, very small, very minimal, but the food and the cafe or the restaurant is really, really good. So yeah, in this first episode of our Hidden Gem series, we are going to try this restaurant in Pran called Sukiji. Yes, as in Sukiji, the fish market in Japan. Obviously, they sell and serve seafood, right? Because Sukiji is very known, is very well known of their seafood. All right, let's go. Let's try this restaurant out. are inside of Sukiji restaurant here in Pran and the restaurant is quite small and it is really packed right now it's almost past lunch time and some people are still waiting for their food and the restaurant is busy so what makes it unique is you can purchase the the fish right and also other seafood from the fridge and you bring it to the counter and they'll make it as a sashimi and yeah there are a lot of choices here um, salmon tuna as usual the octopus scallop and yeah we've selected a couple uh, the common one the salmon the tuna and yeah we are excited to find out um, if the quality of the fish is quite good but right now we're still waiting for the food our food is finally arrived and the wait time is a bit too long because the restaurant is quite busy but we order a couple of things here the first one we're gonna try is this one here the hot food so this one here is the kamameshi set um, this is a seasoned rice with yam mountain veggies and also miso soup and we've tried this before in japan and we kind of like it that's why we order this again right this is the one that caught our attention uh, on the menu and we saw a couple of people order the same food as well so this one here is the sake clam with sake butter let's try the seasoned rice first the kamameshi chef the yam is i think they are grated right mixed with the rice and have a little bit of seaweed as well Wow, it's seasoned really, really nicely. It's quite umami as well, and wow, it's so flavorful in here. Like, even though it's quite humble and simple, but so packed of flavor, and I quite like it. I can taste the yam, I can taste the seasoned feiji, and mixed with the seaweed, really, really nice. Okay, let's move to the sake clam, right? That butter, that sake flavor is very aromatic and it hits the sport right away okay let's try the soup first oh there's a little bit of clam here i'm gonna try with the soup it's winter here right now in melbourne and this is such a perfect perfect dish as soon as i taste the soup right my body is kind of like warm and it's so much flavor and that soup wow Taste the sake seasoning is really spot on and wow, perfect guys. I'm quite skeptical because it's quite expensive on the menu, but really, really worth it. Must try, must try. High expectation from Peter. This needs to be really good, okay? <laughs> Let me try this. Mm. I would say it's like this season, but seasoned really well. Really enjoy this guys. Another high expectation because Peter tried this. <laughs> try the soup first. <laughs> okay, I'll try the soup. <laughs> See? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me try with the clam. That soup is the hero. It's a clear soup but packed lots of clams flavor in it. Oh. Mind blowing. All 
All right, guys, for the sashimi set, we ordered this one, the sweet prawn. This is the tuna. This is the kingfish. And this is the salmon Atlantic. And we also order four different nigiri here. This one here is the scallop nigiri, the octopus nigiri, the eggshell nigiri, and this is the surf clam nigiri. Guys, are you guys team wasabi or no wasabi at all? <laughs> For me, I'm the team wasabi mixed with the soy sauce. This is what I normally have for the sashimi. Soy sauce combined with wasabi. Not exactly traditional. Yeah, it's not very authentic. I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is how I like it. Let's try the sweet prawn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try without the soy sauce and wasabi first. So sweet. Is it really sweet? Mm. It's so fresh, it's not fishy at all. Oh, really, really good sweet prawns. Have to try this on your sashimi, guys. I think I can enjoy this even without the wasabi and soy sauce. Really sweet. Okay, next one is the tuna. For the tuna, I think it's better to have the with the soy sauce. Yeah? Mm. It's fresh, but I don't think it's like very high quality tuna. Well, you can tell by the price. It's quite affordable for sashimi, right? Okay, I'm gonna try the kingfish next. It's quite fatty, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit tasteless. So I think this one also needs soy sauce. <laughs> mm. There are two cuts of the salmon. This one is more uh, fatty salmon, I guess, or it's closer to the skin. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I can taste, you know, that fatty, oily salmon uh, on my tongue, so I think this one is good with the wasabi, for sure. <laughs> mm. Yeah, soy sauce and wasabi, perfect for this salmon. This one is less fatty than the previous one, and it's really good again with the soy sauce and wasabi. Overall, my favorite from the sashimi uh, that we ordered today is the sweet prawns and salmon, the fatty one. Oh, this one is like the best for me. <laughs> so fatty but so good. Tuna. Mm. Mm. Kingfish. Mm. Let's try the salmon, the fatty part. Mm. Mm. And finally guys, sweet prawn. Oni's favorite. Mm. Out of the four, I actually prefer the tuna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are a tuna person, I yeah. think. I'm not a tuna person, that's why. Uh, the kingfish is really light, it's really subtle. I mean, if you like like light fish and not so strong fish flavor, then the kingfish is probably your best bet. But I like my tuna. And the sweet prawn is obviously really, really sweet and you have to try it as well. And finally guys, we're gonna try the nigiri. Well, we do apologize in advance because we're gonna cut the nigiri in half. This is not the way you should eat nigiri because you should really eat it in one go. Because both of us really wanna try this, so we're gonna cut it in half and yeah, this is not the way you should eat nigiri. Okay, I'm gonna try with the scallop first. That's like the um, the roe as well on top, right? And make sure you put the soy sauce on the fish, not the rush. Okay. Yeah. See, it's really hard, right? Yeah. Proper way to eat All right. nigiri. Okay. Mmm. Wow. That scallop just really melts in my mouth and it's not smelly at all, it's really quite fresh, really like it. I'm gonna try the octopus now. So they have put the soy sauce in here, so I don't think I need extra soy sauce. But instead, I'm just gonna put little tiny wasabi. That octopus is also quite good, it's quite tender, but I don't think you meant to kinda like do it in half, you have to go it like with one bite. The texture is really nice. They already put like a soy sauce, so you don't need to extra soy sauce. It's really fresh actually, and yeah, no complaint at all. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the surf clam and we have decided to give this a go with one bite. It's chewy, but it's very delicious. I really enjoy that surf clam. Mm. All right, this one is the actual nigiri. This is the most expensive nigiri on the menu. <laughs> mm. Quite chewy, but not as chewy as the surf clam. And uh, the taste is kind of maybe same same but different you know <laughs> yeah overall i really like it if you wanna something different if you don't wanna eat the uh, salmon or tuna or the fishy uh, nigiri then definitely get the non-fish nigiri like us we are going to enjoy and finishing all this sashimi the rice and the clams and we are going to give you the final verdict after this stay tuned That concludes our experience. First time trying this hidden gem in Melbourne, Sukiji restaurants. Oh my god, that sashimi was the highlight of our experience today eating at this restaurant, guys. Super fresh, affordable, and many different types of seafood and fishes as well. And that sake clam, must try, guys. It's cooked really well, done really well. Very simple broth, but it's very, very tasty. And don't forget to try the kamameshi set because that one is a good pair with the sashimi as well, with the uh, clams as well. Yeah, really nice overall. I think this is like a affordable five-star sashimi. <laughs> so definitely a hidden gem. Not many people, I think, heard about this restaurant before, but small amount of like, group of people heard about this and from the word of mouth they know and they come into this restaurant shout out to our friend simon who recommending this restaurant to us really good job hidden gem nice find <laughs> and if you guys love this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well to help our channel to grow and as always stay foolish stay hungry bye